Tina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another giant jujube haul. Yes, I have a problem, but <clears throat> story time. I actually have to admit that each of the new brands that I've really checked out, I've done these big surge and splurge things, and then I finally catch up with, okay, I kind of have the reach back for all the items I want, and then it can slow down a little. <laughs> I'm kind of back into Vera Zone, where... I can kind of settle in and enjoy what we have. So we have finally reached that point because this pile completes a lot of the reach back items and some new items as well. But before we dive into all of that, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I decided to share um, a discovery. So I decided I need to use all of my things that I have. And one way I figured out to use them is this is a Lug Bento box set. And I, they, of course they nest within each other, but if you might've already seen through the window here, the small and medium pieces are great for storing these. Now I don't think that's how I'm going to store them, but I do love the Bento boxes are great. This is the Heather set. You have Heather Gray, Heather Walnut, and Heather Indigo. Um, but in the middle size, I have a Super B folded up in there. So when I got the Super Bs, I mentioned how they were essentially a packable. And this kind of demonstrates that. Someone else, I'm um, sorry, I don't remember who it was at the moment, but put in a comment on a previous video that the Super Bs will also fit inside the large set piece. So you could use it that way as a packable with a pouch. And the B Light, which is in my small bento box, is um, fits in the medium set piece. So there's another way to use them as a packable. But anyways, I just put them in here just to show you that they fit very nicely. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did a uh, big workout yesterday, <laughs> challenged my lungs a little and they're just rebelling today. But anyway, uh, this is my Super B in the <laughs> World of Warcraft March of the Murlocs, but we've already discussed this one, so I'll just put that away. And the other one is the Be Light, as I mentioned, and this one is in the Camp Toki pattern, so it's a Toki Doki, and there it is, the Be Light. Well, as I was sorting all this out the other day, and it's been sitting on my table for a couple days, but I got to thinking, I don't have the B Switched, which is the insert for the Be Lights. I do have the B Moved, which is the insert for the Super Bs but I can't find that B switched anywhere, so at least not at a reasonable price, but really they're not out there, not even on resale, I can't find them. So um, I was thinking of other inserts that I could use potentially with the B light if I wanted to use it as a purse because the inside of these just has a zipper pocket and that's it. So they're really not great, great purse per se. I mean, there's the slip pockets on the outside, but anyway. So I was looking around my bag room and I saw this, and this is a Vera Bradley um, pocket ditty bag. And this is in French Paisley, but I wasn't sure how to use this once I got it because it's an interesting bag. It is in fact a ditty. It has the double drawstring on the top and it has these little, you know, cinch loops. So that's great. I haven't used it yet. That's why there's a tag on it. But this is in French Paisley, like I say, and inside is plastic lined. Not important for this, but nice. But the outside of this bag, look at this, it has four slip pockets. So there's two there and two on the other side. So there's four. And then inside, there's a zipper pocket here. So and then, like I said, it's plastic lined. But look at the width and depth uh, of that. And I thought, you know, just trying to remember the be light has a little bit skinnier, but I thought maybe this could be an insert for this bag. It, I think it's a little wider this way, but it might work. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. The moment of truth. Yeah, I think this is gonna work great. So not that I'm gonna need it necessarily to change from be light to be light. I certainly could do that. Um, but it does just give some more organization and structure to it. So. Yes, the bottom of it is a little bit wider than the bottom of the be light So that kind of sucks, but I maybe would still use it, honestly. Because you just kind of work it in so the bottom will be a little bit wrinkled, but there it is. I mean, this direction fits splendidly. It's just that base that's a little wide. 
But this allows you to still use that that zipper pocket in the Be Light. So I might, I might totally do that. Yeah. Okay. Yay! I love solutions. It'd be cool. Just I hope they bring back the Be Switched. Anyways, it's obviously very popular. Okay. So now we're into the main haul from Jujube. Um, these first two items are interesting pieces that are maybe not the ones you think about first offhand. Um, the first is this silver star. It just says Jujube on it. It's very simple, but I mean, it's got some heft to it. And it's just a keychain. It doesn't have a clip on it. I'm going to, of course, put a carabiner on there in a matching color. But I do have the rose gold star, which I used my rewards to buy. This one, you don't have to be rewards, you know, club or whatever. This one is $7. So I paid $7, got that. Because most of my stuff is silver, and that is my preference anyway. So now I have the rose gold option and the silver option. I don't know if they have a gold option. I haven't seen it, but anyways. So there you go, keychain. And I got the strap. Now this one is the exclusive rewards one. So I used, I think it was like 10,000 points or something. Anyways, it's a lot of points to get it. Um, but okay, so I thought this would match super well with some of my other patterns, especially like Tokidoki Kawaii Carnival, for example. I should have grabbed that. But anyway, it'll match with some other stuff too. So I thought that would be great just to have another color option. It has rose gold clips on it, the faux leather Jujube. And it's O-O-A-K-P-L. So if you're looking for this and you're, you know, have a bunch of points saved up on Jujube Rewards, you can look it up, you know, there, or if you go to the woven straps, it should say, it'll say hidden. I don't know exactly the magic of the website, but if you're able to get it, it will show up. That's the bottom. So you put it in your cart and you get your rewards and you use the code and whammo, you got that. Side note, you cannot use rewards and other deal. For example, they are doing the free mini bee in the heartbreak pattern, which I did get on a separate order but I could not get that item and use my code for this strap in the same order. I had to separate them, which again, kind of sucks, but anyways. So I paid shipping for a star and a strap. <laughs> and it still was cheap, but hey, okay. Essentially, it's a free strap, I like that. All right, then I a lot of people have been having in their GGB videos and things, these Tokidoki white pouch. W I pouch, white pouch. Refu they're refillable wet wipes pouches. This one it is um, in space place and they are refillable. So you have your Ziploc on the top to get into it. This one holds 30 wipes. And I think that these will keep them more sealed so that they will last longer than some other containers you might have them in. But it has a removable little wristlet strap, which also has a snap on it, so you can loop it around things if you so desire. And these come from um, Se Petite Vienna, which is an Australian company. I don't think you're going to be able to read that very well. Maybe you can. I can see it there. Um, but it's an Australian company. So I did go back and order some in like CMO and some other pattern. Um, but this one is Space Place. I know you can't see it super well because it looks really dark without the white behind it. Let me see if I can, there you can kind of see it. So it's a dark one and why did I go dark? Well, I like blacks and whites and I thought this one would match still with my blacks and whites stuff. Anyways, it is kind of dark. But it's a nice rubbery plastic feel to it. And the flip top here so you can get in and get your wipes. The whole anyway, it's got a good seal, so we'll see how that works. I don't know yet, but a lot of people have them. There also is a mini size, which I ordered as well. They actually come in a pack of two for 25 Australian, which is less for US dollars. And you'll see them online on Mercari. This I got this on Mercari, um, eBay, everywhere, and they're selling them for 25 US dollars per pouch. <laughs> Listen, you're getting ripped off. Just order it from the other place. If you're in a hurry, do what I did because I was in such a hurry I wanted to try it. But meanwhile, I went and found um, this other company, the company that actually makes them, and ordered some directly from them. Yeah. So there you go. They also make one that is a 60, and the 60 is 
it, it's like a, a rectangle cube that, you know, it stands up on like a square. Anyway, don't get ripped off. Then um, I found on the GGB Pink Ladies on Facebook, there was, uh, you know, there's always, uh, there's the GGB buy sale trade as well, a lot of different things, but ideas flying all the time. It's like really addictive. If you have no restraint like me, you should not be a part of these groups for Vera and Lug and GGB because you will buy more. But then again, you get to buy more. <laughs> Anyways, this lady um, makes custom pieces. In this case, it's a key fob, you know, a keychain, key ring, key fob. And this is in the Toki Doki Kawaii Carnival. So you can see some of the characters. You got Rainbow Ice and Palette in the, the car there. And it looks like an animal cracker right there, which means Sneaky Snacker is just off the side here. And then on the other side, it has one of the unicornos on there. I don't know their name. And then uh, it's got the bobas down at the bottom, and then it has that little baby bottle character right there. So anyway, uh, rose gold fitting with there with a loop and a, a little star for GGB and a clip. So really cool. And actually, it's really robust. It's this um, like woven strap material, and it fits even with my big hands. So I can put a, you know put my keys. Um, but obviously, it matches perfectly with the Kawaii Carnival. But she was so sweet. She sent me a little, um, well, she sent me a note, but the inventory. So I paid $13 for this. And the name of the company is Crafting After Dark. So you can find them. She sent a little sweet, sweet tarts and a little... I'm gonna use this in my planners because it's perfect. A little pink flamingo paper clip, which is adorable. Hi, baby, come on. And, oh, oh, not on the table. And then this little a note, and it has a cute little tape on it, but it's it's adorable. It says, thanks a bunch. It's a nice little note, and it says, Michelle, happy mail day. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you love your new fob. Christy, ah, don't put your foot up there, baby. Yeah. Anyway, so thank you, Christy. That is really cool, and I'm absolutely in love with it. And now that I finally did the haul on it, I can start using it. I'm going to get out my Toki Dokis. All right, moving on. We have a bunch of coin purses because I love my little mini BRB, mini BFF, and mini... Uh, I'm, I'm not thinking of... Helix, mini Helix, yeah. So the little crossbody or, or whatever. And these fit perfectly in there, and I love little pouches for cards and coins and in all my bags. So I have them in all the brands that I love. And so these ones I kind of grabbed a few. I'm kind of putting them in order, a specific order here for a second. So the first one I grabbed is Prism Rose. And if you look on all the resale sites, you can find them for about $20.00 and anywhere on up from there. So probably 15 to 35 is the range. Um, I personally try not to pay more than 20. I, I just, 20 bucks for a coin purse, I just, it's so much. Especially when you consider that these people mostly get them for free. Like you can't buy them, honestly. No, I, I don't know the whole life history of Jujube on these, but as I discussed in the Kauai Carnival, discovered, like right around that time that if you spend a hundred dollars for a lot of the other authorized retailers they give you a coin purse for free with your order so uh, these people mostly i think are getting them for free and then selling them for whatever which is fine i have no issue with it i just think that you shouldn't charge so much because then i would pay shipping on top anyways i'll get off my soapbox on the thing i just hate when people get ripped off but if you can afford it, and this is the argument in, in the contrary side, is if you can afford it and you're willing to pay it, then whatever, then nobody's getting hurt. But I do think they are. I just don't think it's right. But anyway, so I got the Prism Rose to go with. Um, I have some items in this pattern. And it has rose gold fittings and this pale pink interior. And I hope you aren't offended by my rants about like reselling, gouging people. I just really, my heart bleeds for people that, you know, get taken advantage of that's all uh, okay 
This one is, ooh, I want to say it's something ice. I forgot. I forgot. But it's yellow and gray and white. So my thoughts were this would match very, very nicely with the Tweeting Pretty and also the Cheerios. And I'll leave this one out so we can compare it because I have a couple of Cheerios item here. But this one has a little star on the front. So it's cute with the older Jujube tag. But it is pretty. I also think it kind of goes with the black and white, so, you know, style-wise, diamonds and diamonds, but anyway. Okay, so I'll put that on the other side. Then I got my blacks and whites, so I got Night Stars and Geo. I do not yet have the Queen of the Nile one, but I probably will get that, but I just love having the matching pieces to go with my B sets. So if you look at a B set, it's like three pouches, small, medium, and large. And if you have the B Quick that's like the fourth size, that's the extra large. Going in the other direction, extra small, would be this. You actually have five sizes of pouches if you have all those pieces. So that's great. I like having options. Then I got this one, which of course I'm forgetting the name of, but it's an old, long-retired pattern, and it is the Anchors. So I thought this would go really nicely with my Lug Apollo, I think it is. No. Uh, it's a big tote with anchors on it and nautical navy. I love it and I want all the pieces of it. But this will go nicely with that and or just general on my cruises. Yay. And then I got the flying keys, which is the Harry Potter pattern as well. And I got these are all pretty much new with tags because that's how I like it. I don't, I don't trust the wear. Okay. Next I got a flying keys petite backpack. Because I discovered on the Hogwarts Essentials I bought from Jujube, I discovered that I really did like this. And this little thing is tiny but mighty kind of a backpack. It does have seatbelt strap handle and adjustable backpack straps. I'm a big girl. These totally fit me very nicely. Um, and this is a great pattern. I really like this pattern. And it's, it's the white and gold on the blue, the navy blue. And the fittings are gold. It says Harry Potter and GGB, and then on the back it has the glasses and the lightning bolt on the forehead kind of thing. Very nice. This material is like a light nut material. It's the same material as the grab and goes. It is not the slicky nylon of like the regular GGB stuff. I, I call it nylon, but it's not the smooth stuff. But as you can see, you know, the small set pieces and the coin purses fit very perfectly inside the small pocket here. But nice pocket, and then the main compartment is also single zipper on this. And then inside it is lined in the pretty interior. But this little bag, look how big it is on the bottom. So it, it will hold a lot, actually. Yeah. So I'm really excited to add that to the collection. And from the same person that I got that one, I also went ahead and dipped into the Hello Kitty a little bit more. Because I love purple. And so Hello Kimono Kitty pattern with the pretty purple, you know, it's a very light purple. And then it has like the teal straps. So it just kind of coordinates with a lot of different things. There's the sticker it comes with. That's really cute. She's in a kimono. But it is, it's got these pale pastel colors and it's just really fun. And the zipper pulls on this one are the shape of a Japanese fan. And then it has like the enamel on the other side. And the zipper pull in the main pouch is actually the Hello Kitty head. And this one does not have any bling on it, just the pink bow there. The inside of this is also that sort of teal and it has a cute pattern on it with like Hello Kitty bows and flowers and dots. Yeah, so I got this and I also found a B set cause pouches, I love pouches. So, you can see on this one it has the sewn on tag that says GGB and Hello Kitty and it has the little kitty bow head. But look at the pattern, it's just cute. It's just cute. And this has the same two zipper pulls as the petite backpack. It has the Hello Kitty and the little fan. And it, it is still got the lockable loops. Open it up and you have your other pieces and it comes with both straps. Again, new with tags kind of a thing. Um, same interior we just saw. So, if you're curious, the big, the large set piece does fit inside this very nicely. You could actually have a couple of large set pieces, or you could have the large and the medium, and then the small in the front. Yeah. And for reference, 
Let me, let me open this up. In case you're not familiar, here's the medium set piece, the small set piece, and the large set piece. All, here, let me line them up on the bottoms. There we go. So that's the small, medium, large. And like I said, if you were to take this, this is like your extra small. And then I don't have a quick to show you the, the larger one, but there you go. And the small set piece, of course, fits very nicely in this front pocket as well. So, uh oh, Kelly. Kids are walking the neighborhood, and she knows if she barks at the window up front, she's going to get yelled at. So she goes outside to the side yard and barks right there over the wall. She's way too smart. And also bad. She's being bad. She knows she's not supposed to do that. Anyway, silly girl. She's a great, great dog. I really love her. All right. Next, we have the Duchess pattern in the B set. This one has gold fittings, but as you saw before um, with the other one, it's the same three pouches and two straps, and it has this sort of bronze colored interior. And this one does have, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it very well, but there is a slight pattern in it. And I don't know what you would call that. It's like just swirlies swirlies it's a swirly pattern but it's very very faint and really non-distinct but yeah so i'm into polka dots and i love my black and whites so i do have some items to go with that one and continuing with b sets this one is jujube space place so this goes with my white pouch which uh, where did i put that over here anyways you want to see that but obviously you can see the pattern a lot, lot better on the B set, the bold colors and purple. <laughs> so yeah, I did pay more than retail um, for this, but I am happy that I did. It was still, you know, has round jujube tokidoki and the little symbol. So just a couple of round zipper pulls. But the inside is very, very purple. So I love that. And let's look at these other pieces just for pattern placement stuff. So let's start with the small one. We got mozzarella. That's actually a really good placement, I think, because you can see all not too much that's cut off, per se. The only thing about it is the other side is almost identical, except it's pushed down a little more. So to me, this side is even better. You have Sandy up here in her little black outfit with her little cactus pup. I don't know the pup's name. You can see the earth in its whole face. You can see a bit of the little donut spaceship. And you can still see mozzarella. And then you can see this little donut planet over here with these other characters on it. So anyway, really cute. And you got a little bit different parts of the pattern. So it shifts enough that you get a different look. And then on the, the medium piece, we got a purple planet, which of course I like. It's a purple ringed planet. You have the Jujube diamond in a ring. Um, there's Donatella and her little donut spaceship. And I, this is what I call the donut planet. It's like Donatella planet. It's a ringed Donatella head planet. Uh, and everybody has sprinkles. But yeah, so anyways, lots of things. Every time I look at it, I see something new, just like with the other Tokidoki stuff. And then here's, you know, Sandy on the moon, but then you can see the upper part of the pattern that we didn't see before. So it's not my favorite Tokidoki pattern, but I do love all the purples in it. And I like the variation to kind of have fun and mix and match. And I just absolutely in love with that's my favorite purple, that royal, deep royal purple. Um, so in this one, you, you got some of the same characters, but you see more of the scene again. So you have mozzarella and Sandy. You got a unicorn over here. You got... Uh, I don't know if that's like Cactus Planet. Yeah, so just fun. Yeah. And then on the back, a little bit more of the upper part of the pattern. So it's fun, fun. Doki doki. Oops. Yeah. All these have tags, which is great. Then the next piece I got is Sakura at Dusk. Because I have now, I have the Hobo Bee. I have a Be Nurtured, I have, I just got another bag in this pattern. So anyways, I have several things in this pattern and I really am happy to finally have the B set. So again, I was doing reach back purchasing 
limited to third party sellers, Amazon, eBay, Mercari. But I found the items I wanted. I've filled all my gaps. I am now over that hump. Um, but this one has a, a kind of pretty, it's like a purpley gray interior and it works really well, nice and light. But it's all the same three pieces. It's just a pretty Sakura dust pattern with the rose gold fittings. And then one more B set. And this one is out to sea because I love to cruise. And it's Hello Kitty, which is really cute. And I love, love, love red, white, and blue. So this one is a win on all three fronts for me. Um, this one is not new with tags, but pretty close to it. The zipper pulls are a little bit bigger um, Hello Kitty heads than on the Hello Kimono Kitty. And these ones have a little bling also in the bow. So that's pretty cute. Um, but I just love it. It's the anchors and the bows in Hello Kitty. So it's pretty simple. It's geometric. has a really cute Hello Kitty tag on it. But you can just see it's pretty straightforward. And it's a regular B set, so it has all the same pieces. The inside... Oh, no, sorry. It is a little different pattern on the middle one. I forgot. The sticker on this one is the kitty head. And it, it, I was wrong. It's new text. So I do have the wristlet strap, but I don't have the longer strap so but the middle piece has the stripes and the small piece has the regular out to see so actually that's kind of fun too the variation it's cool and I kind of don't mind that it doesn't have the long strap because if I want to use it that way I will use some other strap with it I'm sure I can make that work but but mostly I like pouches for pouches not for purses but I like that they can be purses. But along with that, I got the mini B in the same pattern. And this one is, you know, excellent condition, but it's it wasn't new with tags. But it has the zipper pulls, the same as we just saw. Kelly, no. Hey, come here. <laughs> I use my mini voice. Come here. Okay. Shh. Shh. No. Okay. Um, the mini B has the snap on the front there's that bold red interior some magnetic snap and this pocket is very nicely gusseted that's usually where I put my cell phone actually there is side pockets on this mini B my other one didn't have those so I actually like that they do because on this one I might actually I mean you could put a coin purse in there for sure if you wanted um, they're just big enough for that that fits lovely right there but I would actually put my cell phone in this side pocket because it is elastic. It's just perfectly tight. So even if I put it upside down, I mean, I'm shaking it pretty hard to make that come out. So I think that would be a perfectly lovely place to put it. Um, it has the handle of this material and these straps and the back are both padded and meshed. So that will breathe well and not be too, too sweaty. But look at the cute quilting on there too. You got the bow and the stars. Yeah, I really like this. Now, I do have an issue because I, these, I don't like these fittings, honestly, because they work themselves loose and, and it doesn't take much, but they're just, there is a way to add another fitting here and I do have those fittings. I should have grabbed it before the video, sorry, but another time we'll, we'll show you. But you can add that fitting and that will keep it from working itself loose and that works great. The other thing that I've done is I bought snaps and a snap installer so I will put probably just go ahead because I I'm a big girl and this is a small bag so I put it all the way towards the end with about an inch or so remaining and I'll put the snaps here so it'll snap to itself and that keeps it from loosening because the weight is still borne by the, the fitting and not by the snap the plastic snaps work fine so you can either use that other fitting or plastic snap depending on if you're gonna to wanna to be adjusting the strap or if you just know your setting and you're gonna use that same setting all the time, which for me, I pretty much know and I would do because it's a small bag. So when I put this on, it fits very nicely. I like to have that extra space so it'll hang a little bit lower and I just like it to be loose on me. So it's very, very comfortable and it's a great size purse backpack, so anyway. Inside the main pouch, it is a double zipper, which I, I like. It zips all the way down the side, but you have a really nice gusset on it. Inside, 
you have this much space in the base, which is nice, good size. And you also have a privacy pocket in the back that goes down to about right here where my fingers are. So it's about this big. A great little backpack purse for me is the way I use it. I think it could be also perfect for a young child because for them it would be big, but it holds a lot actually. Okay, next, my very first BFF. Not the mini, but the actual BFF. And this one I did a reach back because it was an incredible deal and I think I've talked about it before. This is the Cheerios collaboration. You know, world goes around and around. And I, you know, I'm not super big. I know I keep saying it. I'm not super big on the yellows, you know, but it's the Pantone color of the year or whatever. But it matches really, really nicely with the Tweeting Pretty. So between the pieces I got in the Cheerios and the Tweeting Pretty, they coordinate very nicely with each other, in my opinion. And they also match this, um, whatever, ice, diamond ice or whatever this was called. Um, so it's not perfect, but again, you got that coordinating factor with the grays and the whites and yellow. So I think that'll be a nice addition to that. Um, yeah, so the BFF is, it's kind of like a messenger bag, right? Or a, an attache case or something. So you could use it as that type of a bag right there with the handle. It has a crossbody strap. And then it also has backpack straps, which are completely removable. These are padded and meshed. The back of the bag is not, but this is new with tags and I got it for $70. That is like amazing price for that. So I said, well, I'm gonna suck it up. And I've already tapped into the yellow, so I'm kind of warming up to it. And it's bright and cheery. And honestly, once I saw the Cheerios up front, um, this was not my first piece of it, obviously. I had the B set and a couple other things. But I fell in love with it because it is me. I mean, it's my personality, I think. Be bold, be original, be you, be happy. That's what it says on all of these all the way around them. So you can kind of see the words in black around the, the circles. So you have white circles, gray circles, and your yellow circles for your Cheerios. But anyway, I've, I've fallen in love with the, the idea of it, not necessarily the colors. The fittings are silver. So let's start with the front of the bag. You have your mommy pocket, which is a double zipper, and it zips um, up and around, so you have a nice opening. It folds down really nice. So you got your sunglass um, sleeve, which you can use for other things, of course, if you choose. You have a slip pocket there, which is gusseted slip pocket. You have a key bungee in the middle, and you have two pockets. You have a slip right here that is also gusseted on the side. So I think the small set pieces will fit, but for sure the coin purses fit in there very nicely, which is great. And then the other one is a zipper pocket. And I like this setup better than the Hobo B because the Hobo B is one large zipper behind this. So you have to like move that out of the way to get that zipper. This, it hangs in the middle, which is a great place for it, but you can access both pockets without much worry about that. So that I do like. And then this pocket has quite a bit of gusset to it. It's a good inch or so. And so you can put pouches in there and whatnot, if you wanted, depending on how you have your pocket stuffed. And this is obviously not the matching one, but this is the large set piece. And so let's see how that fits. It fits perfectly inside this pouch. I mean, it's like made to fit. And obviously that will zip up nicely around. So depending on how you pack the smaller pockets, you could also use that larger piece in there. Okay, so that's the very front pocket. Right above that, there's another zipper. And this one is a soft line pocket, which is a pretty deep pocket. So it goes down to about, where's my finger? Right about there. Um, so it is a nice pocket. There's my phone, which is a 6S Plus, And it fits almost all the way in. Like you can see the purple sticking up right here. So if I have my phone in there, I actually, is this a hooded zipper? Let's see. I actually can zip it. I can, um, yeah. So okay, that works. But honestly, if I have my phone in there, I like the quick access, so I probably just leave it open, depending. But um, Okay, so that's the front of it. You have side pockets, which is your, you know, your drink pockets. They have elastic on them. So they are pretty, pretty generous pockets. Very, very roomy. 
And they're kind of, a, it's got, the whole bag has a bit of a triangular shape. So really big on the bottom and then smaller on the top, which is, makes sense. Um, and so you have that same pocket on both ends of the bag. You have the straps I talked about that clip on and off. They have the same fittings that I talked about on the mini B for that. And then this other piece. This is the piece I was talking about that you can actually buy them on Amazon, like a pack of 10 of them for, I don't know, five, 10 bucks. Um, but you get the piece and then you, you see how it's threaded on there. So this would loosen itself, it would. But because of this piece right here holding the other strap together, it doesn't allow it to work itself loose. So this keeps the strap fixed. So you have this option or snap, you know, you can put the snap on there and snap the two like I was talking about. So those are kind of the two ways to add it. But this one actually came with that fitting. I did not have to add that piece. And um, it's really easy to install or uninstall. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to, obviously. But there you go. And it clips off both ends from the bag. Now these fittings, unlike lug, these do not tuck in or disappear. They just kind of hang there in a little loop. So I don't think it's a problem at all. On the back, you also have this big slip pocket. There is no magnetic closure or anything. I think that would be a lovely addition. And, and just because it's a big floppy pocket, that if it just had a little magnet right in the middle, I think that would be perfect. Um, but inside you have, well, obviously this hasn't been used, but it has this um, changing mat. And this one is a pad, actually. It has that sort of uh, memory foam inside. Um, but these are great. If you don't have a baby, they're great because you can use them for a picnic mat, a stadium seat. You know, you can sit on that at a stadium. Well, not that you could take a bag like this into a stadium nowadays, but you get the idea. <laughs> great picnic mat, craft mat, whatever. Or even more importantly, you can send these to people who do custom things and they can make things out of this material for you so that it will match perfectly with your bag. You can make wallets. You can make pouches, you know, and if you're crafty, you can do that yourself as well. But there you go. So if you are, you know, using this with a baby, obviously you can store it there or you can put it inside wherever you desire. Okay, so now let's go to the inside of the bag. The inside is a double zipper entry, so it zips all the way down to the bottom on both sides. There's the other one. But it is nicely gusseted, so it it doesn't like flop all the way drawbridge down like the BRB backpack does. And I like that about this. It opens in such a way that it is extremely accessible. I mean, look, you can really see everything down inside of it. And it has great organization. There's a removable, adjustable shoulder or crossbody strap. It does have a pad on there, which you also can remove off there if you want. And the pad has like a no slip side to it as well um, and it's just clipped on the side you can also use these side straps for like your um, stroller straps so you can hang that on the back of your stroller and now you have accessibility to all of this just hanging right there on the, on the parent side of the stroller so i think that's great i don't have a stroller but you get the idea um, so inside here this is really cool so you have two zipper pockets right here and these, let's see how deep they are. They go pretty much almost to the bottom of the bag. So they are pretty deep. Um, yeah. In front of those two pockets, you have, both of them have a slip and these are gusseted slips. So your small set pieces will fit very nicely in there. And then on the side, you have like bottle pockets. You have a cargo and it's, it's generous size there and you have one on the other side. So you, you can use them for bottles. You can put, let's see, I think the medium set piece will also fit there. Let us see. Let's do some test, test fits. Sorry, numbers. Okay, so the small set piece fits easily into those slip pockets there, even if that was full. The medium set piece, mm, can fit in there yeah obviously it's gonna stick out the top but it fits there no problem and these will of course not fit in the side because the side is too narrow up here but if you had it like only partly packed you could you know squeeze it in 
That would not be my preference, but you can, you know, put a bunch of pouches right here in the main compartment. And then on the front, you have these two clear pockets. So you can put pictures or whatever, and they're kind of a, like a rubbery clear plastic. They're not like super stiff plastic, but they, they look nice. Super fun features. Yeah, that's just all the jujube stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much the bag. There is one more pocket here that's a zipper pocket. Pretty good size. It's not gusseted though. So let me see real quick. Will the medium set piece fit in there? It does fit in there, but it's not gonna be zippable, but you could certainly use it as a slip pocket. Small set piece fits very nicely inside that pocket and it can zip. So that is your fit checks. And yeah, so I'm really excited to give this bag a try. Oops, let me put this back inside. I, I will let you know more later, but I hope I love it because I already bought another one. <laughs> yeah, because I sort of think I know what I like. Mostly I'm right, but not always. Sometimes I just get lucky. Okay. So the other, ooh, the other one I got is in Cleopatra. Also a good deal on the price, but it goes with my blacks and whites. To me, this has a little bit more professional look to it because it's just a little bit more sophisticated with the black and white instead of like the bold yellow and whatnot. But essentially the same bag. This one has gold fittings and the inside is like um, gold. <laughs> it's a shimmery gold, very, very nice. But all the same features as the other one, and there you go, new tights as well. Okay, then I got my Mini B, which was my gift with purchase. This is in the Heartbreak pattern. I left it in the plastic until I use it, because I'm not certain, but I might gift this to one of my nieces. So, but anyway, Valentine's Day is coming up, so it's a perfect time to bust out a Valentine's pattern. And in all honesty, this is the only heart thing I have in any of my brands. So kind of interesting. Vera did have a beautiful sweetheart pattern that I just didn't grab. I was saving up between fishy stuff. So there is a big Vera haul coming, by the way. Okay, now I got the Mini B because it was if you spent 75 or more, I think it was. But I got a Be Prepared, which is the larger size bag. So it is still a diaper bag, um, but for me it's a travel bag. And this is along the, the lines, I would compare this to the Vera Bradley Weekender. Um, so we will do a video later where we look at the Jujube Be Prepared versus the Weekender versus the lug bags that are in that same size category, maybe like the Boxer 2, the Steamboat, and those kinds of things. And we'll compare the features and kind of take a look at them side by side. But not today. This one is just the haul video. So let's take a look at this bag. This is, of course, in the Sakura at Dusk pattern. And yeah, so I definitely have some options now with this pattern. It has rose gold fittings. And it does have a mommy pocket on the front, which is double zipper. And it zips all the way down that front. It is a gusseted pocket. But look at how well you can get down in this pocket and see everything. Just like the BFF, it has these clear pockets on the front. And then you have, in this one, you have a sun, sunglass sleeve, which you can use for other things. You've got a, uh, this is like a waterproof pouch. It's a really robust plasticky material there. Very wipeable. You have a zipper mesh pocket. And then down below that, you have two elastic mesh pockets. And since we have our beautiful Jujube pouch, which by the way, fits very nicely inside this pocket. Let's see, now that I zipped all these back in already. The small set piece definitely fits actually in these pockets and that's horizontally. So it's just the right height. For those to fit so you can fit two of them there you know if you wanted and this is why you need multiple pouches right and then this one can also fit in the mesh pocket as well so it fits in there although that wouldn't be my first choice 
and let's see if it also fits mm, not so well in this pocket because it's narrower but if we take the coin purse the coin purse does actually fit in that pocket so that is one use and of course it also will fit in the mesh pocket you can clearly see that so okay and actually this one kind of coordinates because of the pinks in there and stuff okay so that's the front pocket the mommy pocket and then you have right behind that so you have your strap on both the front and the back and both the front and the back have pockets there's one on the front so a great big snap pocket so you could put like your laptop in there if you had a sleeve to protect it you can put folders, you can put your changing pad in there. You can use it for a lot of different things. And then, like I said, the straps are attached to the outer part right there. So if you wanted to use your crossbody shoulder strap, you can tuck your straps back into that pocket and they're completely out of view and they're not gonna catch on things. So it's a very clean look to it when you do that. Obviously for now, we're not doing that but there you go. Um, it is a little awkward to snap that, I admit. In the back, right now, that's where the changing pad is. Let's see. And it is a padded changing mat. But same like the front. So those two pockets. On the sides, your bottle pockets are hooded and have a magnetic closure. I do like the magnetic closures. So they're pretty strong magnets, actually. So that will hold your bottle or whatever is in your pocket. Um, from just flopping out. I really, really like this feature because that to me, it's one side will have a water bottle. I could have a snack tower on the other side because it's big, look how big that is. Or I can use one as my quick access phone pocket because my phone fits in there, but I can still get in there real quick and grab it. So really, really like that option. You can also fit the small set pieces in these. If it's fits all the way down in there and it's right about the height of the pocket so it will be secure with the flap over it as well so another great I like these pockets all right then you get into the inside of the bag you have a zipper that it's a double zipper so if they were centered it would be right here but it has it's kind of like the bee nurtured setup so it has a curved zipper all these straps are everywhere hang on out the way straps We're fumbling all around with them. okay so you have the curved zipper so you zip and it goes all the way around and down all the way down to the corner there on both sides so what that does is it opens the bag up it's awkward because of the folds and the pads and everything but kind of like the bff Right, but it's a really big gusset here, so you can but look how good you can get into this bag. There is no question it's accessible. There's the removable strap, same as BFF. It has gold, rose gold fittings on this one. Um, but this one, um, yeah, it has a lot of organization. So you have bottle pocket, mesh bottle pocket on the side and on the other side. You have big mesh pocket, bigger mesh pocket. This one is wider. And then you have on the front, you have two more mesh pockets, so you have smaller and larger. And then you have a big slip, which goes, it goes to right here. Um, nothing goes to the bottom. I'm not sure why, I think that's interesting. And then the tabs on your mesh pockets are color coded. So if you have maybe more than one kid and you tell your husband, it's the gray side, which is your, just your purpley gray, or you have the Sakura side that has the outside pattern as the tabs. So um, I guess that's what that's for. For me, it doesn't really matter. You just know, you know, front or back or whatever. So great bag. Look at the size of the base of this thing. This is a big bag. This is definitely for me suitable for my second carry-on. Um, I could see me really getting a lot of use out of this. And because it is waterproof and wipeable and machine washable, I'm not as worried about putting it on the ground, which obviously I choose never to do that unless I need to, but it does have feet, which is great. 
and it's so wipeable that you know you're gonna put it under the seat in the plane so there you go and then you take it home and you can sanitize it so yay this is a good option um, I'm really excited about this now before we close this up let's do a fit to see where things fit so I have the medium set piece and let's see if that fits no obviously it fits in this big slip everything fits in that slip it's too wide I think it fits nicely in the wide mesh pocket it's perfect height and width for this medium set piece which means probably the small set piece will fit in this other one perfectly. There you go. So that's one side. Here's another argument to have multiple B sets because then I think the same will be true on this side. You have your mirror image, the same pockets on the opposite side. And that is true, true statement. So same two pockets, same two fits perfectly. Let's try the large set piece in that pocket. And it does, it does fit width wise. I probably wouldn't put it in there because I think the medium fits better, but you could, you could do that obviously. Um, but yeah, so let me try one more thing. There's a bottle pocket on the sides. It is, I think might fit yeah, depending on how you have your medium set piece, you'd kind of have to squash it in there. So not optimum there either. Okay. Now, I'll put this away in a minute. But that's the be prepared in Sakura at dusk. And um, even before that arrived, I did order that from Jujubee, but I did find one on Mercari in my Queen of the Nile. Because why? Blacks and whites. So this one is, of course, that, and this one is um, not new with tags, but it's excellent use condition. Some of the, you know, stuff is still on there. But the inside of this one is that sort of bronze color with gold fittings. So because I have a lot, a lot of things in the Queen of the Nile, this one made a lot of sense. I actually am in the market for a BFF in this pattern as well. I think actually this one is great. Um, so we will see. This is an older Queen of the Nile, so if remember we've talked about um, Queen of the Nile has come out twice. The first version had that darker interior with like that bronze. The newer version has the silver inside, um, but the newer version did not come out in the Be Prepared, so I had to do the reach back for the older version, which is totally fine. The outside is same, same. Both the versions have gold fittings on it, so they match really nicely, but I do prefer the silver inside because that's just me. I'm a silver girl. But all right, that is the end of the giant Jujube haul and a dive into some pieces that are new to me and some that are very familiar. So hope you're doing well. Have a great weekend. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Washi washi.